Welcome to the Business Outlook Survey press conference call. I'm Tom Elliott in the Public Affairs Department. Sitting in today for Mike Treving is economic analyst Aleph Sen. Today we're going to talk about what manufacturing firms had to say about business activity in December. First, Aleph will give us a brief summary of today's report. Thanks, Tom. Um, results from our manufacturing survey this month suggest that regional manufacturing activity continued to expand at a pace similar to last month's. All of the survey's broadest current diffusion indexes were positive and recorded slightly higher readings than in November. Price indexes indicate that cost pressures moderated somewhat. Uh, more, for, more firms reported increases in input costs this month compared with last month, um, while a higher percentage of firms reported increases in prices received for their own goods this month than the last month. And uh, employment remained positive but low among reporting firms. And the broadest indicators of future activity continue to reflect optimism about growth for the next six months, although most of those indicators decreased slightly from their November readings. And uh, we also had special questions this month asking firms about their expectations uh, for changes in various input and labor costs, including categories such as health benefits, wages, and energy. Thanks, Aleph. We're going to open it up to reporters for questions. I'll start with uh, Stephen Joyce from Bloomberg BNA. Thank you. I've got two questions. Uh, the first is uh, getting, reading through the comments a little bit, can you glean a little bit about how the Fed's activities are uh, impacting manufacturers? And I'm not talking about what happened yesterday because the survey was done before then, but just sort of if you can talk a little bit about how, whatever the position of the Fed is, how is that impacting business? And the second question is on the, the labor uh, issue. Uh, if you look back a year ago, the, the statistics are just about the same as they are this this uh, this uh, month. The uh, work week's a little bit elevated in uh, December of 12 in this uh, this month, but the other numbers are about the same. Um, yet the GDP number last quarter last uh, quarter of 2012 was was dismal. Um, is there any type of correlation between last quarter of 2012 and the reading that came out today. Thank you. Uh, as for your first question, as, as you know, we don't actually ask any specific questions about firms' um, thoughts on Fed policy and how that affects their businesses, and there wasn't anything really in the comments this month to suggest that um, it was a deep concern on, on firms' minds. Um, as for uh, the labor question compared to Last year with this year, um, especially in terms of how it relates to, to the GDP numbers, uh, one thing to keep in mind is uh, GDP was boosted by high inventories this past quarter. Um, so I don't, I don't think you want to put too much stock in a correlation um, in, a, in a given time period necessarily. I think uh, a lot of this month's readings is due to general you know, slow time of year, end of season wind down. So, so it wouldn't be driven by any type, in, in, in your view, it wouldn't be driven by any type of um, output projection? Uh, I, that's not what I'm seeing, no. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Stephen. Uh, we'll go to Chris Hepp now. Chris, any questions about this month's survey? Uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a, a novice on this, so... That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit more. I won't be so broad as my colleague there. Um, I'm just curious about when I look at the um, unfilled orders and delivery times yes. and the uh, negative diffusion index, what I can read into that one way or the other. Is that good, bad, or indifferent? Um, it's generally that's a, that can be an indication for the amount of slack in the, um, in the economy in, for our local manufacturers. So if delivery times are decreasing, that, that could suggest they're keeping up with uh, production. It's more of an, an on-demand production sort of situation, but it's always hard to know in a given month uh, what exactly the situation is. Well, when, when it says when you have more um, man, uh, manufacturers saying that their unfilled orders, for instance, are decreasing, that the, the percentage of the number of unfilled uh, orders are decreasing versus increasing, is that good, bad, or indifferent? Uh, I think that suggests that they're keeping pace with their demand. Um, they're not lagging behind, so they're on they're on top of their um, production. 
I see. And same for delivery times. And then the same with delivery times. Yeah, there's not really a backlog in, in their uh, production times and getting okay. the product Thank out you. to consumers or customers. Any other follow-up questions, Chris? Uh, no. Well, okay. <laughs> I go back to you, Tom. <laughs> cool. For some, some dumber questions, but that's fine. <laughs> And I'll check it one more time with Stephen Joyce. Any other follow-up questions? I, I do. I do yeah. have one more, and, and that is on the inventories. Uh, they're relatively flat November to December uh, for the current month, but if you look at the six months ahead, they're, they're relatively uh, lower uh, than the current month. Uh, what, what does that tell you, if what? anything? Inventories are always a little tricky because unless we get a lot of comments from the, the firms, it's hard to know um, how many firms are planning on beefing up their inventories for any um, expected activity increase in the future or uh, how many are experiencing unforeseen shocks to their, to their businesses. So um, I guess there's two things. There's one thing could be economic slack, right? And then the other thing is they're just going to wind down their inventories because of increased sales. And I guess the question is, is there an indicant of either one of those two things? Um, no, I mean, I guess I would look to the fact that the, the general activity, the future general activity index remains high, um, and firms are expecting new orders to, to increase as well over the next six months. So it could be tied to expectations of increases in sales. Fair. Very cool. Any other follow-up questions? I'm good. Cool. All right. Well, thank you both for calling in to this month's uh, Business Outlook Survey press conference call. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. All right. Look for our year-end historical revisions at 10 a.m. on Thursday, January 9th, and next month's survey at 10 a.m. on Thursday, January 16th.